Hey guys, Terry here. I hope your holidays were wonderful. We had the family over and had a great time. Ate too much. <laughs> um, but I hope you had a good uh, Christmas break. Um, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about albums. Um, this is where I have my albums. I have them in an Ikea uh, Calyx unit. I recently moved them into this unit because I um, had them downstairs in a cabinet when we moved and I liked um, the cabinet that I had them in. It was a, it's a nice, um, it was one of those uh, bookshelves with the glass doors that came down. So I liked the idea of the glass doors because it would keep the dust off the, the um, albums and keep them clean. But I had them laying on their side because the cabinet shelves weren't quite tall enough um, for 12 inch um, uh, scrapbook albums. So I decided that this landing here, if you can see, this is a landing. This is, you come up the stairs from downstairs and this is at the top of the stairs. And there's um, quite a bit of room there. I mean, you can get around them. I don't think it's too crowded here. Um, I think it's a good spot for this shelf. Um, so I've got it on its side. Um, I also thought about standing it up there on the corner there, having it stand up, having it stand instead of on its side. Um, and that's the nice thing about the Calyx shelves is that you can um, arrange them, you know, that way. They're very versatile that way. So. I decided to lay it down because that way I could also have um, the smaller books up on the top there. So um, I do like that they're standing and they really do recommend that you have um, albums um, standing up. It's not good for the pages to be um, on their side, um, the embellishments and stuff that you have smush into the other pages. and can harm the photos. So it is a good idea to stand them up. Um, I think it's more inviting this way. In that cabinet, you had to lift up the um, door. And I found that we just weren't digging them out. So um, my kids have all said as they kind of walk by this stand, it's like, oh, look, we can, you know, sit and look at our books. And so it's just kind of a good location and they can um, easily pull the books out. And I think when the grandsons get a little bit older, they'll be able to pull them out. And I can see them sitting here on the catwalk uh, looking at the books. So uh, my kids are older and out of the house, but the albums have still stayed here. <laughs> I think it's just once they get a place and it's, uh, you know, a good sh storage situation for them, then I'll, <laughs> I'll part with them and give it to them. Because I have, I do have the books sorted um, by the different kids. So the blue ones are mine, the green ones are my youngest son's, the purple ones are my daughter's, and then the light blue is my oldest son's. So um, I've got them that way. I've also, if you notice on here, I've got the... Um, the years are on mine. The kids' books, when I first got them, I didn't know um, which years I was going to have in the books, like how long it was going to go through, you know, baby up to kindergarten, and um, it kind of varies. So I just put volume one, volume two, volume three, and so on and so forth. So um, that worked out good. Um, it doesn't have the years on it, but it does have kind of the order that they're in, so you can kind of flip through them in order. Um, I've also got uh, one over here, the brown one is for the puppies books, and then my black ones here are for my crop circles. Um, I like to go to crop retreats, and I have scrapbooked um, those trips, so that's been fun to flip through there and see, because we've been um, going on scrapbooking retreats for over 10 years, so that's really fun to look through those books. Um, the small books that I have up on top there, um, those are some little various trips. I also have some, I think these two here on the end are uh, Disney trips, because, you know, when you go to Disney, you take thousands of pictures. Um, so that's all um, working good that I've got them stored in here. Um, and I think I'll have to figure out 
you know, maybe my oldest son will take his books and then I'll have some more room for growth here. Um, but yeah, I'm loving the Calyx unit. I'm loving that it's so out and easy to um, get to. I love that the books are standing like they're supposed to be. Um, I do recommend labeling them. This label here is actually done on some plastic sheets that are then pushed inside the book. So that's just some um, letters, letter stickers, and on plastic, and then they scoot inside there. I haven't glued them, but you probably could glue them in to keep them staying nice. Um, if you get the um, Project Life books, it's nice when they've got the little tabs, and you could slip a label in those. Um, these are Creative Memory albums, and I got them um, embossed with the, with the words on it, so I love that. Um, I'm getting ready to go to another crop, and what I need to do is, I've got a stack of, um, let me grab them, I've got a stack of layouts over here, and I need to put these away, so what I'll do is I'll go through these and put them in the right books, and then, um, kind of know, kind of notate which ones I've, um, what stuff from last year that I've cropped, and then um, get pictures printed. Um, I use Snapfish to upload my pictures to. Um, so that's a good way to um, keep track of your photos. It's a good way to have your photos backed up. Um, but yeah, I'll be loading these into um, my recent albums and um, kind of go through last year's photos that I've uploaded to Snapfish and then see which ones I need to print for um, the retreat I'm going to. Um, another thing I'll do is depending on the pictures that I pull and print I will then get out any scrapbook kits that I want to um, to crop. So I'll print the fit pictures and then kind of organize them by um, what theme they are. And then I'll pull either kits or some paper out and then know um, what I want to take with me on the crop. Um, I do love using Snapfish. I think it's a great way to um, know, well, it's a great backup of your photos. Um, I know these days we have photos everywhere because we take pictures with our phone and then, um, you know, have them on Instagram and Facebook and everywhere. So I do recommend that you... Um, you know, use some system, either a backup disk or something, so that you know that you are um, making a backup of those photos. Um, I used to back up to a, um, a separate hard drive. That recently crashed. I think it's when we moved. Um, it stopped working. So I do like that I have my photos up on Snapfish. I can always reprint them if anything happened to my scrapbook albums. Um, so I highly recommend having some kind of backup system. Um, I'm trying to think of what else to tell you. I think I mainly wanted to show you the, the new cabinet that I had for the scrapbooks and, um, say that I'm getting ready for another crop and, um, that I recommend that you have a backup of your photos. So hope you guys have a happy new year and I will talk to you soon. Thanks guys.